Hello everybody. I hope you enjoyed the tattoo videos that I posted a few days ago. It was such a great experience for my fiance and I and we are s Farmville. We are so happy to have been able to share that experience with you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I look forward to posting more tattoo videos in the future. Um, it's been about 10 days since we got it done and it's healed beautifully. No scabs, clean peel, all that good stuff. The artist did a wonderful, wonderful job. Anyway, I was... Let me just get off that. No, okay. So it doesn't make any more sheep noises. Um, I was about to record a haul video from you guys when I was getting ready for it. And I realized that even if I do have a lot of makeup videos on my channel, none of them are really meant to teach none of them are actual tutorials. So I thought that I would take this time to record one for you guys. Um, it is a red, black, and white look. It's very intense. Um, a lot of people have requested these colors. Um, you can also use this for the vampire gothic style makeup kind of thing. And I think it's actually kind of festive. Like all the white shimmery and when it blends between the red and the white it's kind of pink. That's my festive way of putting makeup on. Um, but yeah, this is actually my very first makeup tutorial. So please bear with me, and I'll, I promise I'll do more makeup tutorials and hopefully get better at explaining what I'm doing. So please just bear with me. Um, I guess that's it for an introduction, huh? I guess that's it. I will talk to all of you guys on the next video, and I hope everybody is having a great holiday. Take care. Bye. We're going to start off this look by using a primer. I'm going to use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm just going to apply that on my lid. Blend. And whatever's left over, I'm going to put under my eye. And up to the brow bone. Make sure it's well blended. I don't want to use too much because will cause it to crease instead of preventing it. Next I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow plus from Smashbox. Uh, the name's smudged out, but it's just a white one. You can apply this directly into your lids, or you can use a brush. I just use my ring finger. This will help make the color pop a little bit more. And then... I'm going to use white frosty shadow. I'm using um, frost pigment by MAC. Well, actually, this is a dupe. If you can't tell by the horrible labeling. Also, it has that weird sister. But it works. So, use whatever works for you. Whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the exact brand. I'm just taking a little bit of that into a small crease brush and I'm going to apply that to the tear duct and the inner third of my eye. Okay. And just put a little bit under too. Right? That's good. If you need more you can build up more. It's always good to use just a little bit at a time. Next I'm going to take a red eyeshadow. Um, this is a matte eyeshadow, the one I've used on my Halloween makeup video, the Rag Dolly one. Um, I forgot what it's called again. Somebody in the comment mentioned it before. Bloody Mary, I think. But anyway, any red eyeshadow you have, matte or shimmery, whatever you want. <coughs> and I'm just applying that with a 239 brush. And I'm going to put that. 
Hold the lid for the rest of the lid. I really wanted to just zoom in into my eye, but the camera's not going to focus, unfortunately, so you guys are going to see all the weird faces I make when I put makeup on. I'm just going to take that brush I used again for the frost, and I'm just going to sweep frost over to the red to blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm using the 217. You can use whatever you have. And I'm just slowly going to blend this up a little. You can go as high up or as low as you want. It really depends on your eye shape and how much space you have in between. And since my eyebrows are way up there, I'm going to go a little higher. Okay, um, I'm taking a black shadow now. I'm using one from my Coastal Sense 88 palette. It's the darkest one. If you can't tell, I really, really like it. <laughs> it's almost gone. Okay, I'm going to use that same brush again. And I'm just slowly going to put a little in the corner. The dot first to see where I'm going. And then I'm slowly going to blend it in small circular motions. And then pull it down a little bit little angle. It looks weird right now. It always looks weird when you're starting out, but once it's all blended out, the look will come together and look better. And I'm slowly going to sweep that in. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take a bigger brush. So I can easily go that more. And I'm going to use the 217 again. And just pick it up more. A good trick, if you use too much like I did, instead of like trying to push it upwards, is to just kind of pat on the edges so that it's not too harsh. And I'm just going to take a small angle brush from Sony Kasher. Yeah. And I'm just going to put that on the side and make sure that the line is connected. Whatever's left on that 239 brush, I'm just going to push back into the black to blend it a little bit more. And I'm just going to blend the top a little bit. It's a little harsh. And to even soften that look more, I'm going to take a wider shadow brush that I'm going to take the 88 palette again and use one of these. I think I'm going to use that. As you can tell, I also love the highlight colors. It's going to be the third one down. Use that or whatever your favorite highlighter is. And I'm just going to apply that under the brow and pull it down. I'm going to take that Sony Kashuk Angle brush again and the red eyeshadow just a little bit and put that in the middle. Since I already have the white on the side and the black on the other side, I'm just going to add that red 